The Auto Drive Challenge is a cooperative sponsored event by SAE and General Motors and several other smaller sponsors. We basically took 10 collegiate teams provided them a Bolt EUV from General Motors, a box of exceptionally fun engineering parts, and they have four years to build a SAE Level 4 autonomous vehicle. We provide annual challenges and special events to help tutor them, teach them, train them, and to get them successful at building a Level 4 autonomous vehicle. It's really fun to see how all the different people come together to achieve that one goal. There's a mix of static and dynamic challenges, and there's also the project management report to make sure we know how to manage what we're doing, make sure everything is done on time and we're not freaking out if something goes wrong. And then in addition, we also have some going over our concept design. And in fact, we're so confident in our weatherproofing and we'd like to give a quick demo right now. <laughs> MATLAB challenge. We have a perception challenge to detect traffic lights, traffic signs, pedestrians, deer, dynamic objects such as vehicles. For the second dynamic event, I believe it's the intersection challenge. So they test your ability to go through stop lights, stop signs, traffic lights, and highway challenge where it's a little bit more dynamic object avoidance. So it's really cool to see the students work on so many different pieces all at once. Usually as an engineer you work on one small part in, in a silo, but the students here have to work on many different things. And to see them develop the cars from the cart last year to the car this year with the sensors on it, it's, it's really kind of exciting to see as someone in the industry and they're prime candidates for hiring too. Their curiosity is great. If you talk with them about a couple ideas, they can really go well beyond that. But it also gives us some ideas of the things we'd like to maybe work on in the future with them. They learn from failures. I've been interacting with quite a few guys and then I can see kind of a frustration yet there is a hope for them. Things you come prepared for the demo and the last minute something will not work. So this is something they start learning about it and then I'm seeing like hey yeah let, let, let's go over that and then make it work, make it happen. So I think that that's very important lessons compared to anything else. You can tell that there's a lot of you know safety that goes into this competition, not just in the rules and the presentations, but also in the core of the competition itself. At the end of the day, it's to keep people safer. Autonomous driving is, yes, it's comfortable, but at the end of the day, it's going to save lives. Well, Auto Drive Series 2 is radically different from Auto Drive Series 1. Literally, the LiDARs that they're using did not exist five years ago. The maps have improved so much over the past five years, these high definition maps are accurate down to within the width of the white lines on the road. We know exactly where they are on planet Earth. Last year, we actually came in uh, with Hawaiian shirts. Because Houghton does have quite a bit of snow most of the time, uh, we were coming down here acting like we are on vacation, which uh, I think a lot of teams thought they were really cool. The jackets now, we have our, our logo, which is uh, Prometheus Borealis. It's the flame logo from when Prometheus gave the fire and uh, science to humanity. We, we like coming in with our own kind of persona, and the jackets kind of make us look more like a team, which is always really cool. And we've gotten a lot of compliments with, with them, so we, we know that they're a hit, and we look really good in them too. I'm dying in this jacket from sweating, but beauty is pain. <laughs> so Penn State and Michigan Tech, we had a peace treaty of sorts and we exchanged license plate. Michigan Tech approached us. After seeing our logo displayed on the table during the uh, printing event, they wanted to get some kind of a treaty going since uh, both of our logos were very similar in design. We at GM need the rejuvenation of the enthusiasm of the students. You come to an event like this and you see the enthusiasm, you see the joy, you see the newness, and it's inspiring, it really is. I have such a blast at this. I wouldn't give this up for anything. This is one of the most fun weeks I have out of the entire year. Based on conversations with many of you, you continue to deal with the joys software brings as you make one change to fix an issue, yet unintentionally you recreate many others. 
Well, welcome to the world of transitioning to a software-defined vehicle. I live it every day. I wouldn't change it for the world, by the way.